So because whiskey they get new tattoo every minute, some Nigerians, some of his fans, I see that is that is depressed. That is getting those tattoos just to get over a certain depression, maybe uh, losing his mother. He's still taking a really huge toll on him. So he's uh, doing giveaways and getting new tattoo every day just to get over the depression. <laughs> and also staying in Nigeria to get over the depressions. The same whiskey, Naito say, make an alarm enjoy money small. That is taking time off music just to you know, enjoy his money and enjoy his family. And uh, we can uh, remove the fact that he has been doing a lot of giveaways recently. Giveaway is good. So if uh, the pressure can make someone do giveaway, ah, that is a really strong one. I'm praying for such thing to every uh, big man out there. If the pressure can make someone do giveaway, then I wish all the big men in Nigeria depressions so that they can be doing giveaways. <laughs> well, check this guy. This guy, West said, all these things we go, they look as, as lifestyle, but in fit they do them to get in mind of the loss of a mom. Then uh, Olami Day said, I don't want to be that guy, but I hope whiskey is fine mentally. The way he keeps getting new tattoo reminds me of a video where Olami Day said, when he lost his parents, he's doing a lot of weird things, and people thought it was normal. But deep down, it wasn't okay. He was still grieving. Okay. Getting a tattoo in this uh, recent uh, century is normal. You know why? People do a lot of things in order for them, do a lot of things to uh to advert any form of thinking in fact people go to work every morning just to remove their mind of certain stuff and to derive happiness people eat every day just to derive happiness and derive pleasure and people do a lot of in fact anything we do nowadays is to either achieve something so if someone is doing something to get his mind of depression he's still we can still count it as him living his life. It's normal. It's normal. But let me know, guys. Do you think uh, Whiskey is going through it? And let me make this clear. In this part of the world, in Nigeria, I do not think there's anything like depression. If there should ever be anything like depression, it should be mostly about money. Someone is not making money. Someone is not uh, getting stuff done as usual, like the music industry, the entertainment industry, the Nollywood entertainment industry. Whenever these celebrities are making so much money for themselves, they are happy, squandering it, making, uh, making it big. Their name is getting bigger and bigger, getting booked for many, many shows. They are very, very okay, you know, posting all the positive things online. Some of them became, become a motivational speaker and doing all sorts of things they like. Oh. But make everything just start to be come down, like make business not the flow well as usual. Make money, rapper not the enter as usual. Make things they go sideways, then they start talking about car. They don't know what I'm feeling inside. The depression is too much and so forth and so forth. And so forth and so forth. So guys, eh? <laughs> in this part of Nigeria, eh? before they hear someone say, oh, I'm down, you know, saying our money make them down, because the majority of Nigerians, eh, they don't easily get down. They don't easily get down. Like I've said before, I pray, because another person said, my guy who is came out with the press, and that's the reason why he's doing a lot of giveaway. And honestly, I've prayed already. If depression can make whiskey do giveaway, 
I'm give that guy 20 million naira. Then I'm praying all, all the big men, politicians, all of them. I wish them such depression so that they can at least let the poor breathe. Hmm? They check out this very tragic uh, issue of a lady who recently called out uh, baby mommy, uh, daddy. You know, despite me really supporting men recently because of I feel like we men are greatly cheated. That doesn't mean that some guys out there should be dragging us back with their irresponsibility. So check out this lady. She wrote, she said, for the past few months, I have been running for my life as my baby daddy won't let me be. He has been harassing me online and stalking me every year. Five months ago, he broke into my old apartment and stole all my belongings. My clothes, shoes, bag, hairs, and items for sale. This guy won't stop. He constantly sends me threats and use different WhatsApp accounts to text me. He won't return things to. I'm really tired. Twitter, help me. Because the police are not helping. His WhatsApp is so, 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 and so, and so. Well, she said, you know, the first thing that I wanted to say before was that Twitter is not police. You have to run to the nearest police station to report. Then I saw that she said, she wrote, she said, the police are not helping. So who is giving this guy your new address? If you are moving to this place, who is giving him your new address? Then I think what you need to do, what you need to do is to just vanish from that city. Since the police are not helping, because if you cry to Twitter, the Twitter will also demand the police. But since you say the police are not helping, I am suggesting that huh, just move away from that city. With all this with all this uh, proof, you mean the police are yet to get that guy arrested. You know, as a man, eh, let me tell you some stuff. Before you, you, you allow yourself to lay a hand on a woman, on a, def on a defenseless woman, even a woman at all, a woman should not have any right to eat a man. Firstly, let us make that clear. Before, as a man, before you can lay your hand on a woman, do you know what I suggest? Hmm? Why don't you try fighting a man first? All the men in your environment, one on one, fight them first. And if you can beat each and every one of those men, then you can call yourself a man. And then you can proceed to beat a woman. Because some men like to feel their ego, their weak ego, by going to beat a weak woman. Like to feel their weak, their weak ego. Like, okay, I get part of this woman. Why don't you try one huge bros for your corner, for your house? And usually, those men that beat their wives, they beat their girlfriend, they, they cannot withstand a man. They cannot withstand fighting another man. They can't. Majority of them, they can't withstand like one on one fight with other man. They can't. They don't. They can't withstand it. But you will happily raise your hand, one big woman. You must be really, really crazy, guy. You must be really, really crazy. You know, it's December, and we all want giveaways. You know. We want to give away. We want all those our entertainers to give away more. Whiskey gave away millions the other day. And Asake decided to do that just yesterday here when Asake gave uh, a hype man three million naira. Bara. The hype man posted about it to show how uh, Asake, no influencer, not this one, not the hype man, the influencer, sorry. Posted about it to show how Saka blessed him. When so somebody who blessed me now, Abba, I've been working so hard, man, for years. I need someone to bless me. 
It's been long since I have. Uh, it's been long since I've actually gotten any money, for, uh, any money from anybody. It's been long. I'm the one giving out ever since. Doing giveaways, doing giveaways, and uh, it's almost December. And my giveaway usually comes January, so I'm looking forward to it, to it, so that I can do a massive giveaway. So, yes, guys, have a wonderful day. Stay blessed.